Suppose you wish to fit a logistic curve to a data set. The calculator can do this and here's how. We'll use the following data set that's listed here to demonstrate the procedure. We'll go under stat, we'll go under edit, and we'll go ahead and start entering in these data values. And what we do is the first number in each one of these pairs will be entered in under L1. These represent the X coordinates of the point. And under L2, we will enter in the second number in each pair, as these represent the Y coordinates of each of these points. Okay, so now that we've entered in all of the data, we can go ahead and construct a logistic curve that will fit this data best. We hit stat, we go under calc, the middle guy, and we scroll until we get to the logistic option. We'll go ahead and select this one. We'll go ahead and tell it that L1 is the X coordinate, then a comma, and then L2 for the Y coordinates, and then a comma. And we're going to store the results under Y1. And it's computing it right now. And we can see the output. We have Y equal this logistic style function where you have C divided by the sum of 1 plus A times E that's the 2.718 number, raised to the negative bx. Now each of these numbers has a specific kind of relationship with the curve itself. C represents what's called the carrying capacity, and we can see the value here is about 79.3. A represents a kind of a ratio between the birth and death rates uh, in your population. Logistic functions are typically used for population with limitations in the environment. And B here corresponds to the rate at which the population, uh, how the population is growing based on these rates between birth rates and death rates. So the value of A is about 2.21 and the value of B up in the exponent of E is about 0.32 there. So now we can go ahead and see a plot of the scatter plot along with this curve to get an idea about how the curve kind of fits in with the data. So we'll do that by hitting second y equals that brings up the stat plots menu. We'll turn it on. We'll select the scatter plot option, the first one here. We'll take the x list to be L1, the y list to be L2, and we'll use the box as a mark so we can see it pretty easily on the window for the calculator. We'll go ahead and hit zoom and then we'll select zoom stat to get a good indication as to the data values. And here we can see the da uh, data values being plotted and we can also see our logistic curve uh, which is the model of best fit for this particular data set. And this is how you can do a logistic regression on the TI-8384 calculators.